Hi guys, my name's Wood Hawker and I'm here to bring you this week in Launchbox News. I'm in a different game room with a different week of news. But the one thing that I can promise you is that I haven't changed, even though everything has changed on Launchbox. Jason fired himself and hired Trump. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's just get started. <laughs> Update 7.9, the update that I've been talking about for what feels like a few weeks now, well, finally got released on Tuesday, and it was a really, really smooth release, as expected because of how long Jason spent tweaking it to make sure that it was 100% up to where it needed to be at. So, what did we get from this new release? New features include platform categories and nested filters in Big Box. For the next week, we're going to focus on performance improvements and improvements to the Big Box theming engine. This is the biggest piece of news for this week, so pay attention to this. It's actually really, really important. About a month ago, we did a community poll where you guys got to vote on what it was you wanted to see from Launchbox. There was a list of about 10 to 12 things, and the highest voted things, all of the highest voted things on that list, oh, pretty much half the friggin' list got highly voted for. Jason spent the last month doing all of it, doing everything that was highly voted on that list, or even semi-highly voted on that list. It's a way for Jason to figure out where the app needs to go in the future. What are the kinds of things that you guys want to get out of the app. When you load up Launchbox, what do you want to experience? What do you feel like is missing? So this is a great way to voice your opinion, to cast your vote as to what you want to get out of Launchbox. Jason is super active with this kind of stuff. Launchbox is his little tiny baby and whatever he can do to make it better, he will do. Because that's what you do with a baby, right? You just take out the things you don't like and force it to be better. <laughs> I, ha I don't have a kid, so I don't know. As I said, the poll is extremely important because it will define what we work on for the next few months. We brainstormed with the community in a live stream for three hours coming up with the best ideas for the poll. There are 20 new things to vote on so make sure your favorite features don't fall through the cracks. And of course you can find the link to the poll in the description of this video. It'll be the first line, the first thing you see so make sure to click that, cast a vote or else, or else you'll get stuck with something you don't like, like most of America right now. But that's none of my business. Windows 10 Creators Update is causing minor issues for some people, and it's not just with Launchbox. Billy's computer actually just updated the recent Creators Update, and his Adobe Premiere is now being wonky, and I know it is because I edit here at the moment, and he edits downstairs right there, and I can hear him yelling about it all the time. I kind of like Windows 10, but it's very buggy. Now, Launchbox is working j fine for a majority of people, but there is a very small risk. Some people are finding that DirectX-based apps don't work after installing because the NVIDIA drivers need to be reinstalled, which can affect Launchbox and Bigbox. Other issues we've seen are related to the MSI Afterburner and various other driver issues. I'm going to leave a thread in the description below. Make sure you check it out. If you're having trouble starting Launchbox or Bigbox after the Windows 10 Creators update, this will really help you out. So make sure you, uh, you check it out. And if you're having issues, we apologize. But again, it's just very, very small amount of people. And it's not just Launchbox, it's a bunch of... It's, it's Windows 10. Gorilla is working on a new theme for Big Box based on the Nintendo Switch, which I'm really interested to see. And I really like the Nintendo Switch's layout. Everything about it is really aesthetically pleasing. I've always really liked the simplicity of it. So I'm, I'm interested to check this one out. So these screenshots look really freaking gorgeous. Like I got it, I, I, honestly, I like this. I, I, I like everything that a lot of you guys are doing and this uh, Gorilla always makes good stuff and this is definitely something that I'm going to uh, to flirt with the idea of using and then be too lazy to actually do it but he's going all out with the new controls and everything so make sure you check it out. Of course, as always, there'll be a link to the forums in the description below and you can find all this stuff and more in the forums. And finally, Jason is quitting. He's actually leaving Launchbox and uh, he's, he's going to Colorado and he said we'll never ever talk to him again. I'm kidding, he's going to Colorado for a week. I am really glad Jason's taken some time away because uh, I know what it's like to kind of get bogged down by all of this and that man definitely needs a break. I just read the next thing on the list and he actually said he'll be developing remotely. So he's gonna keep, he's, every day he sits there and he works at something to do with launch box. I thought he was taking a week. No, he's, he's still working while he's gone. Take a week, Jason, seriously. Too committed. There's no such thing as too committed committed really I guess. So yes he will be developing remotely while he's away because the guy is addicted to working but he won't be live streaming at the normal times this week so that's the one thing he won't be doing. He is planning on doing some surprise live streams where possible though so make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and click the bell to get notified 
and uh, he'll be doing one here and there, but not like the twice a week or weekly or whatever it was he was doing. I I don't know. I it's I don't know. I, don't know. I got this like like stevia drink. It's like a cherry cola um, soda. It's white, like it's clear. Not white. That'd be weird. It's clear. And it tastes really bad. I'm, I don't even know why I'm drinking it. There's, I just, I, like, sometimes you don't feel like water, even though you should drink water. And it's just really bad. Plus, the ice machine pretty much spat out snow. Like, it crushed it so much, it was just snow. I think it, like, diluted it as well. I don't know, I'm just drinking, like, diluted. Um, what am I doing? Why am I talking about this? But that's all the news for this week, guys. And if I can end, ow, I ripped my hair out. If I can end on anything this week, it's that I've been doing, you know, random videos here and there. I've been doing that, that Let's Play video with the random game challenge. And I did one that was emulating versus real life. I did one on the Switch and emulating. And just, I'm trying to get a feel of the kinds of things, like the top five videos for the best things to emulate on a system. Just let me know, like, if you care about any of those in the comment section below. It'd be great if you could let me know personally. What out of those did you like the most? What kind of videos do you want to see from me the most on this channel? It can be something that I've already been doing or something that you just think might be a good idea. Let me know down below because honestly, I would be up for pretty much anything that you guys... I mean, keep it PG, but I'd be up for pretty much anything. So let me know down below. I appreciate you guys watching these updates. All the videos here on Launchbox from my videos to Jason's streams to Brad's videos to ETA Prime's videos to Kristen's videos to everyone's videos. Thank you for supporting LaunchBox, and we'll see you in the next video.